poor old Buzz back there. He's barely hanging on by a thread. What's up you guys? I'm coming at you from somewhere other than my vehicle today. Somebody please give me a thumbs up. I deserve a pat on the back for that. <laughs> Seriously though, all of my videos here lately have started out from my car. I don't know, I guess it's just convenient. But we did do all my grocery pickup today. I have all that out here on my countertop behind me and I have a meal plan to share with you guys. Also today is gonna be in collaboration with my friend Tiffany over at Small Town Six. We have collabed in the past. She has a grocery haul over on her channel that she wants to share with you guys. So I will leave all of that down in my description box below. Go check out her video for today. Go check out her channel. Show her some love and let her know that I sent you guys. I really think you guys will enjoy her content because it is similar to mine. If you're coming over from Tiffany's channel, hello and welcome. My name is Jennifer and this is Southern Mama Drama. I share grocery hauls like the ones you are about to watch here every single week on my channel, Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, usually without fail. As soon as I say without fail, I'll have something come up next week. <laughs> but anyway, I also share cooking, motherhood, and lifestyle videos here on this channel. So if that is something that you're interested in, we would love to have you join the fam. Yes, we would. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump in. I'm going to share with you guys my meal plan first. So I'm so planned out today that I don't have my meal plan written on my little chalkboard thing on my refrigerator. So we're just going to cover up this and I'm gonna show it to you on the screen here. All right, so I usually start my meal plans out on Saturdays. That's just kind of how I shop in this house. Saturday we have sausage, skillet, and rice on the menu. Monday will be breakfast or hot dogs. I haven't decided because we have the, we have the ingredients for both of those. Monday, Hayden will have jujitsu, so I typically try to do a crock pot meal. We're gonna have Pesto mozzarella pasta. We've never had this before. I found it on Pinterest. It looks really good. Tuesday, we're gonna have beef and broccoli stir fry with rice. Wednesday is another night where Hayden will be um, going to jujitsu. So we'll probably just grab something out or try to find something, you know, quick here in the house. Thursday will be every man for himself. And then Friday night, we will go out. All righty. Here is the spread. And here lately, I haven't really been kind of including like what I've been spending just because honestly i'm embarrassed <laughs> but anyways uh we got a loaf of nature's own um butter bread this week for sandwiches i've got a right here's the thing i'm gonna try to make this last two weeks will i maybe or maybe not i don't know but we'll see but anyway here's the chips i got some of they're like the cooler ranch doritos but they're great value brand we got some takis hayden about knocked me down for those when i come in the door a while ago got some a sea salt and cracked pepper kettle cooked lays i've got the purple doritos they're spicy sweet chili and then we also got some just original flavored great value tater chips and then for fruits and veg this week i've got some peppers i'm probably gonna like roast up for a side for something i've got some celery i needed for a recipe i've got two zucchini that i'm gonna probably saute as a side for something this week i got one green pepper i needed that for the sausage skillet and rice or sausage skillet yeah sausage skillet and rice i got some more carrots because harrison loves those with the ranch as far as snacky stuff i went ahead and picked up some more of these lance fudge sandwich cookies these are really good. That's some more um, applesauce, strawberry, and original because we were out of that. And then I needed me some more chewing gum. So I got me some of that. And then this was a substitution. I had ordered just the regular fig bars by Nature's Bakery and they substituted the apple. Um, this isn't my favorite. Um, I think honestly, I really like the strawberry better, but they were loading all this stuff in my car and I felt so bad saying, hey, I don't want those. Um, so somebody around here will eat them. Somebody will eat them. <laughs> and then picked up the Captain Crunch treat bar things here. We've never had them before. I don't know how they are. Can't vouch for them, but I mean, they can't be terrible. So we'll see. Got some cosmic brownies. I like to stick a little sweet treat into Hayden's lunchbox. So I have to hide these so they will last that long. And then Harrison really loves these Fruit Loops with marshmallows. He is surely my boy because that is my favorite cereal <laughs> of all time. And then I got these New York bagel crisps here to um, use as like to dip in. You'll see in just a second. I got some of the vegetable. What is it? 
garden vegetable cream cheese. So I got those for that. And then I picked up some more of these fruit cups. They're for lunches for Hayden and Tate School and also just for snacking for here for the kids. I picked up a bag of these Idahoan buttery homestyle mashed potatoes for something this week, but I can't remember what for. And then I did do a stock up this week. I just kind of picked... Okay, the thing in my head was I'm going to pick canned meats this week. Um, each week I've been trying to pick up a little bit more of just stuff to kind of keep on hand. I don't know how in the world I ended up with a two-pack of Spam and two individual Spams. But anyway, I mean, we don't really eat this a whole lot, but it is really good grilled. But anyway, I figured we'd just put this back maybe for some hard times or if, you know, something becomes unavailable at the store, we always have a backup of something. And then also, we haven't bought tuna in a while. This is our favorite. It's a solid white albacore um, in water. I went ahead and picked those up and then for the last uh, canned meat item I picked up the chunk chicken breast. I am not a fan of chicken in a can but I'm stocking up for hard times just in case. Okay we'll use it for something. I know somebody one of my friends uses this all of the time in her um, seven can taco soup so if it starts to get where it's gonna you know expire or whatever i'll just make one of them and put that in there and then i got these two brown gravy mix um packets just to stock up put them back or whatever and same thing with the ranch packets just to put them back because i always need ranch when i don't have it <laughs> i bought this spaghetti here to put back as well i'm gonna throw that down in my little um I'm not, I don't want to call it a prepper pantry because Lord Jesus, it would be very disappointing to people who are preppers, but <laughs> I have a little cabinet in my basement that I put all of my extra cans and foods and stuff like that in. I needed some garden rotini for that um, crock pot meal that I'm making this week. And then as always, we always need this mac and cheese for Mr. Harrison. I needed some hot dog chili um, just in case we do have hot dogs on Sunday. I didn't have any of that. And then this is the... Um, pesto that I'm going to put in the crock pot with for that crock pot meal that I mentioned. I picked up a couple of Lunchables. I got two of these chicken dunks. It comes with a chicken nuggets, ketchup, a Capri Sun, and some nerves. I got two of those, one for Hayden and one for Harrison. And then I got an extra one here just for whatever, um, extra cheesy pizza. Got some more baby food here for Miss Stevie. I got an apple strawberry banana and then I got two of the apple and blueberry I like to feed those to her in the morning with some um, oatmeal mixed in got some more of these baby food packets banana and pumpkin and apple and broccoli and then I got her some of these banana vanilla yogurt melts she really likes these yogurt melts a lot and then I got two flavors of the puffs this week I got blueberry and sweet potato all right, and we needed some more extra virgin olive oil spray. I got three can or three things of the mini spaghetti rings and meatballs. They didn't have the ABC and one, two, threes this week. That's Hayden's favorite. I got some of this Yo Baby organic yogurt for Stevie and Harrison also likes that. I got some more of the Oscar Mayer Natural Slow Roasted Turkey Breast for sandwiches. And then I picked up, I normally don't do the deli meats but this one popped up as a recommendation for me it's the cajun turkey by the prima della brand and it sounded really good so i did a half a pound of that hey jeff will really like that he likes cajun flavors of any kind this is the sausage that i use in the sausage skillet and rice i'm pretty sure that i filmed that before if so i will leave that video link down in the description box below but i went ahead and got two of them just i'm gonna put one back or freeze it or something for the um, beef and broccoli stir fry. I got this uh, stir fry meat. And then I went, walked my tail up into Walmart and picked up <laughs> this liver mush that they had a million chubs of or a million blocks of and got it. I got some Parmesan and some mozzarella for that um, crock pot meal that I'm making this week, which I probably already had that in the fridge. I should have looked, but we always, we go through cheese here, so we'll use it. All right, so back here in the back, we've got some Hershey Simply Five for our chocolate milk. And then I got, I went and picked up two things of the Stoke cold brew and also some Dunkin' Extra Extra for our coffees. And don't let me forget my Diet Pepsi. They did not have a cube of Diet Pepsi to speak of when I placed my order yesterday. And then I also checked in the store today when I walked in there and there was no Diet Pepsi uh, cans anywhere to be had, but you know, it's fine, it's fine. We'll be all right, we'll survive. <laughs> I picked this up again. I got this um, last week and honestly, I don't remember it having lettuce on it when I got it. 
maybe they make them different every time, but this was really good. It's an Italian style pinwheel. It's a uh, tortilla, hard salami, pepperoni, provolone cheese, lettuce, roasted red pepper dressing. I was very impressed with this. Two, okay, it comes with four. Two of these honestly is enough, so it really is kind of like two lunches. Here's the garden vegetable cream cheese spread that I said I picked up. I got that over here. A couple of weeks ago, I um, fed Stevie this spaghetti squash. I warmed it up, and then I put some like marinara or spaghetti, so squash, spaghetti sauce on it, and she absolutely devoured it. My child loves spaghetti. And then these were something new that I have never seen before. It's crispy broccoli florets. I imagine that this would be probably amazing in the air fryer. And they also had crispy carrots. I'm so excited to try these. They say that they're new. I've never seen them before, but I'm excited. I'm really excited. I got some of the chicken taquitos here. Hayden absolutely loves those. We needed some more waffles. So I picked those up. I got some pancakes and sausage on a stick for breakfast options. Hayden saw these as I was bringing them in. He's like, oh my gosh, mom, we have those at school a lot. He, he loves to eat breakfast at school or whatever. Um, and he is pretty excited about those. So, And then I got some more of these Easter chocolate chip cookies. These were actually really, really good. I got four bags of broccoli florets here. I'm um, throwing some of those in the freezer and possibly using some of those. Oh yeah, I am using some of those in the beef and broccoli stir fry this week. <laughs> I didn't get any fresh broccoli for that just because if something comes up and I don't use it, I don't want it to go bad. So I can have this in the freezer and have it when I need it. I got some Sister Schubert's dinner yeast rolls. We haven't had these in quite a while, so I figured I'd go ahead and grab a big bag to throw in the freezer just to have for um, bread options for dinner. I got some tater tots. I used my bag that I had on hand last week because I made um, a tater tot casserole one night. I got two boxes of this garlic Texas toast to throw in the freezer, and I got two boxes of these garlic breadsticks. We absolutely love these and Jeff will get on to me if I make dinner and I don't have bread to go with our dinner he's like it upsets him he's he's a bread man and then I saw these bad boys and I'm like oh they are coming home with me screaming Sicilian dessert pizzas this is the s'mores one and they also had the cookie brownie one of these is going to go in my oven tonight. I don't know which one yet. Probably this one. I'm more of a cookie brownie person than a s'mores person, but I am so excited to try these, you guys. Alrighty, back here in the back, we've got a big jug of Sunny D, and then I had also added these. Earlier in the week, I start building my grocery list, you know, just constantly during the week because I'll be like, oh, I need that. Let me go ahead and add it so I don't forget it. Earlier in the week, they didn't have any Sunny D jugs, so I added these Sunny D's to, like, remind me. Jen, go back and look and make sure that they don't have the gallon. <laughs> well, I didn't, but it's fine. The kids will drink them. No big deal. And I also picked up the Dr. Pepper with a cream soda to throw in the fridge. Okay, I picked up this auto baby Automira. Hey, y'all. <laughs> My idea for this, I, I have a, um, one of those, like, camera type baby mirrors to to see Stevie in the back seat but the boys watch movies in the back like there's like a video thing in the ceiling in the back of my car and the boys watch movies all the time and like Stevie is so mad because she'll try to turn her head because you know she's rear facing still she'll try to turn her head to see the movie and she can't see so she gets mad so I'm gonna try to rig something up in the back seat where maybe she can see the movie through this, possibly. We'll see. I don't know how it's gonna go. We'll see. I picked up uh, some more Flintstone vitamins. Harrison really needs the one with iron. He's kind of a little bit iron de iron deficient. Deficiency. He has a deficiency of iron, sort of. Whatever. They said this one. It's fine. It'll be fine. I also picked up some of these children's multivitamin gummies. These are for Hayden because Hayden does not like the Flintstones. He likes the gummies. Picky kids. <laughs> and then I got some of this Downy Intense Fabric Softener because I was out. I picked up the Don't Easy Squeeze this time, you guys. I just want to see what it's all about. I'm all about no messes because I got enough to pick up. <laughs> got some training pants for Harrison. These sweaters that Walmart has had forever in a year are on sale. They were typically $11.98. They're on sale for $7 today. So yes, I got me one. I sure did. And then I got me some, oh, don't mind the laundry. You guys know. 
<laughs> uh, also, I went ahead and picked up some paper towels because we were running low and we went ahead and picked up some more toilet paper. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thanks so much for being here as always. I appreciate every one of you guys. I hope you all are doing well. Don't forget to go over and check Tiffany out. Show her some love and let her know I sent you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a good week. Bye, y'all.